Hi, I'm Richard from 365 Drills. Uh, we produce things like uh, small packs of diamond drills. That's our smallest pack. Uh, um, this is our budget pack. So this does uh, full bathrooms. This does all the sizes in bathrooms. But we also do these box sets. So for example, this one is the essential. Uh, and this one over here is the ultimate. 30 drills in there, 12 in there and seven in this one. But today I'm gonna to be talking about this Pyrex dish because we've been asked, uh, will this work through Pyrex? So here's a Pyrex dish. It must be Pyrex because it says so. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put my hand on that. Let's put it onto the green here. So it's got the Pyrex logo into the bowl. So I'm gonna show you how to drill through uh, a Pyrex glass bowl. First of all, uh, I'm gonna add a it's like a cooking show here. We've got a jug with some water in it. I've got the drill set up for you. So we've got a basic drill with one of the diamond cores in and our anti-slip guide plate. So this is the anti-slip guide plate. Basically what the, the guide does is you would press it down onto the glass and it stops it from slipping around all over the place. Now I've got a little bit of a trick. So the first thing we're gonna do is drill it from the uh, top down. So we're going to find our place where we want our hole. Uh, in this case, we know it's 22 mil. So first of all, with the water, uh, if you haven't got it into a vessel, you need a sponge. This is our uh, water cooling sponge. So I'm just basically uh, saturating that with water. So you can see that with the sponge, if I release the water back into the bucket, uh, and then I can pick up the water. So I've got control of the water speed. Drill setting, I have got that on drill setting number two, so it's somewhere in the middle. This is running speed, this is too, this is too fast. So you've just got to keep control of the speed. So let's start drilling into our Pyrex. So this is where the hole's gonna start. Excuse me, I'm just gonna get the video so that we can see all exactly what's going on. Uh, so here, again, put your plate where you want your hole and then down with your drill bit and make the start into the pipe. Okay, so that's made a start into the Pyrex. I'll take this off and if I show you, uh, let's move this a bit closer. So can you see that uh, it's turned it into like a dust? Well now I've got to control the uh, temperature. So. What I've done is I've put the sponge next to the hole. So I'm just trying to get this around. And the drill, I've got enough. I think I've got enough there in the glass. To, yeah. Okay, see that the um, sponge is, con let's just pass this over to you a bit more now, so you can see that there's a hole forming quite nicely into the Pyrex, uh, it's a nice looking little hole. There is a bit of a cheat I'm going to show if you, if you can, if you can actually go the other side and meet it in the middle, you'll get less of a blowout. So what what is going to happen is, on here for example, I'm going to struggle to get the plate inside the, the vessel because obviously it's, you can fit in there. Now there's another trick you can do. You can actually break the plates apart. So here I'm actually just snapping the plates apart. So this is a really good little thing because you've now got control. You can put the plate into the bowl. And let me see if I can bring that up close to the camera as well. If If you see that you can centre that up uh, yourself. So you press down and you can lock on, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So you can meet that centrally. So again with the water, because it's actually a bowl, I can actually tip some water into that bowl. Uh, so that Pyrex bowl is gonna actually hold the water, which is quite handy, but it's not totally necessary. I'm just looking through the bowl and I can see exactly where I need to, to hit, if you like. And I can start to re-drill. I 
Okay, right, so that's the first thing is that inside the bowl, on just a little half a plate, I have uh, made a start onto the hole. So I just bring, I'm just going to take some of this water out. The reason it's going so slowly is that I'm taking my time so I can show you everything that's going on. And so what you see now is that I have made a start from the other side. Uh, now I'm kind of heading towards the middle. Uh, and then that will give me a bit less breakage. So it's time to finish the job. I'll refill that with some water just to keep things under control. And then off we go. So. So what I'll do is if I, so that's gone, it's, it's worked perfectly. Let me just give it a bit of a clean up and a tidy up. Let me just bring, see if I can bring the camera down to bring you into the bowl. So, oh, sorry, that's really bad. Now, the, this is the glass slug, if you like. If I take this bowl up off the mat, you can see that there is the disc. There is the Pyrex disc. And because we've met in the middle, so this is really kind of, uh, I'll try and get this in focus for you. So it's bad camera work. Because we've met in the middle, we haven't blown out. And what you can also see is that, can you see I'm running my thumb, let's just tip this water in here. I'm running my thumb around uh, and literally no problems at all. So everything's working fine. So we are 365 drills. We produce commercial diamond drilling systems for uh, cat tiles. This is an example of a drill set that has got a 45 in there, a 35, a 25 and an 18, plus all your little cores and all the plus stuff to sort it out. And if you really want to go for it, then this is the ultimate. It's got 30 tile drills in there which is why it's called the ultimate. And all you do is you get supplied with these guide plates and as we say, they lock down onto the stone or metal, whatever you need to drill, not metal, the stone and the Pyrex. Put it down, drill through the exact size hole and as long as you use a little drop of water, then you'll be fine. So that's now a perfectly <laughs> ruined uh, Pyrex football. Uh, so I won't be cooking my lasagna in that but if you do need to cut holes in glass then this is exactly the system let's see i'm going to just try one more time see if i can get that pyrex logo in just so you can see that there's no trickery let's see if i can find it i'm just trying to find a place to put it let's see if it goes on the green yeah just about there and then i'm going to zoom in finally on that hole just to again, sorry about the, the, the um, focus. That's just my NAF filming. And again, on the slug, you can see that we pulled it out there. And it's not causing any smashing damage or any harm to human or animal. Okay, thank you very much.